Hey guys, Chris here from Spotlight Energy Solutions. In this video, we're gonna talk about why filing a permit for your EV charger is an absolute must, okay? So there's four specific reasons why it is a must. Firstly, the local township that we're doing the install at is going to require, one, a licensed professional to actually do the installation, okay? They're also gonna want a simple fee to come out and actually inspect the work to make sure that that load of the EV charger is compliant with National Electric Code standards, okay? So that's the first reason. Secondly, you have a warranty against the device that you've just purchased from the manufacturer, okay? And the manufacturer is not going to uphold that warranty if that charging appliance does not have the required permitting behind it, all right? So that's the second reason. Thirdly, liability, all right? So God forbid anything happens to that charging device or your vehicle itself. We have heard of problems with the vehicles from these chargers from other contractors. If there's a problem, your insurance carrier is going to require permitting documentation to back that specific claim, okay? Not only with your insurance provider, but the insurance provider of the EV installer, okay? Lastly, for resale purposes, if you're putting your house on the market, other inspectors are gonna come through and take a look around. At times, they are going to require permitting behind the specific heavier appliances in your home, including that EV charger, okay? We have heard of requests in the past. Uh, that's just the added fourth um, reason why you need to do it, okay? So it's just simply put, you just better be safe than sorry in these situations. That is why we always require permits for our EV chargers. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.